welcome to the Dimensions CM Java API Getting Started Guide video. Today we're going to look at how we can harness the power of the Java API from a Dimensions CM server installation. So firstly we've installed Eclipse and I'm going to run that. Eclipse can be installed from eclipse.org. Further information on how to set that up can also be found in the associated Getting Started Guide document. So we're going to go ahead and create a brand new Java project within Eclipse. I'll call this DIM API test. Click on next and now we need to reference the dimensions jar files. These are basically libraries that appear within the dimensions CM server installation. You then go into Java API and then the lib directory. Select all of those jar files and then click on finish. We can now expand the DIM API test. We can see the reference libraries here. Now we're going to click on SRC, right click, and then select import. Under general, we select file system, click on next. We're going to browse. And again, we're going to browse to the Dimensions CM server installation. I know this exists on my C program files directory under Serena Dimensions Java API examples. So I click on OK. So the example file I want is username.java. So I click on that and then click on finish. Now we can see some red crosses have appeared. So we expand SRC, we expand default package. Now we double click on username.java and we're going to make some modifications. Firstly, we can remove that package examples line. And this code here can be removed as well. Further details on exact change being made can be found in the Getting Started Guide. Now I'm going to hard code the login information. So this basically reflects what I would do if I was to log into DMCLI, web client, etc. So I'm just going to reflect that information from the login console. So my username would be dmsys. I'll set my dmsys password. My database name is cmtypical. My connection details is dim14. And finally, just to confirm, my server is STL. PC W12. So I'll put that in. And there's just a little bit more code that we need to remove. This usage code is superfluous in this case. So I'll remove that as well. If we go ahead and save, those red crosses should disappear. And just to confirm, the login information I'm supplying here basically reflects the log information I would use when logging into a Dimensions client. Okay, at this point we're ready to test. So to do that within Eclipse, all we do is right click on the username.java, select Run as Java application. Just wait a few moments. And here we can see that the Java application has indeed run. The login was successful and it's reported the username and the full username that has been used to launch that connection. This concludes our brief look at the getting started for the Dimensions CM API. Do take a look at the associated getting started guide and this method can be used as a template for writing your own Java API applications using Eclipse. Thank you for watching.